Okay, welcome back. We're in section four of module two, the getting started module, and we're going to go through and identify the components of the QuickBooks environment. Now, you need to be really familiar with how the screen is set up before you get started, so that's kind of what I wanted to go through here. Let's start at the very top and kind of work our way down. The first thing you're going to notice at the very top is your title bar, and this is telling you the name of the company that you have open, and also which version of QuickBooks you happen to be working in. You can only have one company file open at a time. It won't allow you to have more than one and switch back and forth like you can in Word or Excel. So just kind of know that. Make sure you're working in the correct company. Also, this Home option means you're working on the Home screen, which is this screen right here. Now the next thing is what we call your Menu Bar. You've got your File, Edit, View, all the way across. And you're probably very familiar with working with menus from other programs. We'll be using a lot of these options as we go through, but I want to point out a couple of quick things while we're here. Under the Edit option, I want you to notice the options on the bottom of this menu. There's Find, Search, and Preferences. Now you need to know where the Find is because we're going to be using this a little bit later to search for different transactions that we might be looking for in QuickBooks. I could be looking for an amount of money. I might be looking for a particular invoice I know that I sent out. But anything you're looking for, use the Find option to help you. Search is helpful as well, but the Find is going to be more of a benefit for you. So you'll see some of that when we go through those in a later module. Also the preferences that we're going to be talking about in Module 3, this is how you'll get to those. Now under List, you're going to have all the different lists that are in QuickBooks. This is a quick way to access those. Maybe you're looking at a list of your items. Maybe you're looking at a list of your chart of accounts. So you'll see all those here, and this is one way to access those. So like I said, we'll be going through a lot of the options for the menus as we go along. Now on the left here, you're going to see what's called My Shortcuts. Now you'll notice there's a couple of options here. There's Home, My Company, which we saw earlier. You can view balances, run your reports, things like that over on the left. But you might notice that you can't really see a lot of your home screen when you've got this big area open on the left. So you have some options to show this at the top of the screen if you'd prefer. So let me just show you where that is. When I get to the menu and click on View, currently left icon bar is checked. If I check top icon bar, then you'll notice it looks more like a toolbar like you're used to seeing from some other programs. They actually call it the icon bar, but that way it frees up this area on the left so you can see more of your home screen. So it's just a preference. I'm going to leave mine like this, but you feel free to leave yours wherever you'd like. Now, I'm on the home page like I said, and if I ever want to get back to it, I can actually click home here or home page here if I've got that. So let me tell you how the home page is actually set up. It's actually set up in five sections. You've got your vendor section here, and this is anything having to do with the bills that you have to pay. That's called accounts payable. This section has to do with your customers. These are people that buy from you. This is where we're going to work with our accounts receivable. Down here is the payroll section. So if you had payroll options or you wanted to work at the time, that's where you'd see those options. This part here has to do with the company. So the options here don't really pertain to specific customers or specific vendors. They have to do with the company file itself. Get really familiar with this one, the chart of accounts, because over in Module 3, we're going to start setting that up and you'll see how that works. Items and services, those are things that sometimes you buy them, sometimes you sell them, but that's where you set up that list. And then some of this is sales, like where it says order checks and tax forms, that's sales. By the way, you do not have to order checks from Intuit. You can order them from your bank or wherever you'd like to order them from, but they do sell them here as well. Now there's also a banking section here. So think about things you do at the bank. You record deposits, you might write a check. Those are the types of things you'll find in this section. Over on the right where it says account balances, once we start setting up some of our accounts like our checking or our savings or some of our loans, 
you'll see them listed here and one way to go to that particular register would be to double click on it so you'll see that when we start getting some of those set up now right here where it says do more with QuickBooks this is all sales every bit of this and there's nothing they can't sell you trust me so if you wanted to use their merchant services account you could accept credit cards if you wanted to get some financing from them or order some checks and supplies from them you could certainly do that if you don't want to see this area just hit this little arrow here and that'll kind of fold it up so you don't have to see it same thing up here if you didn't want to see account balances you can hide or unhide those options now the backup status here we are going to talk about how to manually back up your QuickBooks file a little bit later but one of the options that you have is Intuit will back up your data for you it is not free it's a monthly fee I believe it's around five dollars or so but that is something they'll do for you so just kinda of know that and again if I don't want to see that I can hide that backup status now when you're looking at the home screen you might notice that each section has a flowchart the flowchart tells you what to do next always 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 follow the flowchart if you're entering a bill then go here to pay bills do not enter a bill and go right down here to write checks when you do that there's no association between this bill and this check you're writing even if they're made out to the same vendor so what will happen is it'll leave that bill open even though you're thinking you've already paid the bill same thing with our accounts receivable here if you've created an invoice and you've received the payment from the customer do not go to the check register and type it in you want to actually follow the flowchart all the way through to record deposits and when we get to those sections we'll actually spend more time on talking about why you want to do that but that's why the flowchart is there always follow your flowchart now one more quick thing that I think you will want to turn on you're gonna see that when you start clicking these icons you're gonna open a window so I just clicked enter bills here and it's gonna open the enter bills window now if I wanted to go back to my home screen I could click home but it's kind of odd that you can't see which windows are open right now so there's an option under the view on their menu where it says open windows list and if you click on that it shows up on the left and you can just leave this open the whole time you're working but what it allows you to do is to click back and forth between your open windows and that way you don't have to close one to get back to another notice also if I place my mouse between these two windows that I'm able to make this a little bit smaller if I need to so I'm gonna leave mine on while we're working that's gonna to be totally up to you but it's really gonna be very helpful in helping you navigate around in QuickBooks okay so that gives you a quick overview of how the home page works now I did want to mention one more thing you have an insights tab here at the top now we don't have any data yet loaded into our company file but once you do get some data in here you're going to be able to see what we call a dashboard if you're familiar with those they're really popular right now but a dashboard lets you kind of see everything at one glance you can see your profit and loss which you can actually change this to different dates if you want you can see your income at the bottom what's unpaid what's overdue paid in the last 30 days and also you can look at your expenses over here on this section so we'll look at that a little bit later when we get into a sample file we're going to work with I'm going to go back to the home page and that should give you a quick overview of how this all works right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap up this section of the video so we're going to talk about one more quick thing how to convert your QuickBooks desktop data to the online version if you decide you want to go that route okay I'll see you shortly Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you need additional QuickBooks Pro training to help you effectively manage your small business, check out our complete training courses for QuickBooks Pro. Click the Learn More button on the left, and I'll see you next week with additional videos.